What's up, everybody? It's me, Miss Ebony V. So today I am bringing you another video, but this time it is for this beautiful crochet wig that I made. Ow, ow. I'm super excited about it. This is probably like the cutest one I've ever made. I love this one. So for this crochet wig, I used Bobby Ball's Brazilian Deep Wave Hair in 10 inches. And I used, well, I started using three colors, which are TB127, TB Burgundy, and then this T, I said TB, T1B27, T1B Burgundy, and T1B613, which I thought was more like a blondish color, but... In my hair, and it probably is, but it's a little too blonde for me. Like, I just didn't like it with this mixture. So, there's still a couple strands of it in here. See, you know, it's still in here throughout. And here's one there. So, I think it looks cute with adding a pop of it like that. But just having so much of that color, I just wasn't feeling. So, I used mostly the two colors. <laughs> the burgundy and the 27, 1B, T1B. So this wig was a good lengthy amount of time. It probably took me about um, like three hours to do, maybe more, maybe like three, three to four hours. Like I started one night and then um, I got up the next morning to finish like this parting area. I did the whole thing in one night and then I just finished this little part the next morning. So yeah, it was a little time consuming, but I'm quite pleased with the result and I hope you are too. I hope you enjoyed the video. So if you want to see how I made this wig, then stick around y'all. All right, to make this wig, I am using a free tress lace crochet wig cap. The hair I'm using for this wig is Bobby Ball's Brazilian Deep Twist. And I'm using three different colors, which are T1B613, T1B Burgundy, and T1B27. I'll also be using this crochet needle. Okay, I typically like to start in the back middle section of the wig and I'm going to start with the burgundy color. I started separating the hair in only two, I think three pieces. And then I realized the pieces were too big later on and started making smaller pieces. If you'll notice, if you just run your fingers down the shaft of the hair, it will bring the curls back if you experience any frizzing. All right, so let's begin installing this hair. Once I pulled the hair through the crochet cap, I only looped it around about two to three times and then pulled the pieces apart to secure the knot. I wanted this wig to be more red heavy, so my pattern was to use two strands of red and then one of the T1B27s and then two strands of red and then one of the T1B613. That was kind of my pattern or my thought process for my pattern at first until I just chose not to use the T1B613 anymore.
you'll notice that this strand of hair was actually too thick. So I ended up, in order to fix that, the trick is to just take a small piece of hair from each side and then just tie those two pieces into a little mini knot. And that would normally secure it if you ended up if you end up crocheting a piece that's just too large and it may slide back out. Just take a small piece of each side and tie it in a knot and it'll secure it in place to where it won't slide out. Okay, y'all, so at this point, I realize I'm not really feeling this T1B613 color. Mm -mm, it's just not working for me. All right, so I am finishing up this middle back section and then I'm going to clip the hair away to keep it out of the way and then move on to the next side section. Okay, so for this top section, I'm moving to a slightly smaller crochet needle because the holes in the crochet cap are a little smaller. So I want to be able to get the needle through and use smaller pieces of hair.
Okay, so now I'm switching to the smallest needle that I have so that I can get it through the cap that's close to the lace part, which is very, very small and tight. So I want to be able to get really, really tiny pieces of hair. You see the differences in the three needles that I have? The regular needle, a medium size, or not medium, but smaller than the regular, and then like a micro size. So I'm using this very, very tiny piece of hair for this top lace area with this micro needle. I'm doing a couple stitches for you just so you can see how I'm actually inserting it here at the lace and then I'm going to slow it down for you, um, especially for the beginner so that you can see exactly what I'm doing here. So I'm placing the needle through the thread right at the lace. You have to be very careful when you're pushing it through so you don't rip the lace. And then, of course, you hook the very, very small piece of hair on the needle, close the latch, gently pull it through, pull the hair down the shaft of the needle, and then grab a piece of the end of the hair through the needle again and just close it and pull it through. It kind of makes its own knot, as you can see right here. You're making like a little loop knot so that you can just pull it right through. I'm going to try it one more time so that you can see in slow motion. I'm not really good at explaining this, but I hope you can at least see exactly what I'm doing here to create these little tiny knots of hair at the lace. All right, so now I'm finished with the lace area. And as you can see, those the really, really tiny knots make it look really natural which is the whole point of taking your time. So this is the entire wig. It's very, very full. It's very voluminous. And the colors turned out really pretty, even with the sprinkles of the T1B613, that really, really bright blondish color. It looks pretty wild now, but I'll fix that here momentarily. All right, y'all, so I finally have this wig finished and now it is time to don her. So here is what the finished product looks like. This is her, I should have called her my little shaka. See? Nice and full. And then, of course, as you saw as I was making it, it has the little lace parting here in the front. Okay, so before I put her on, I am going to go ahead and cut off the front part, the front part of this lace, because we don't need that. All right, so I have that cut. Now, this is a pretty wide parting space so I may have to do some finagling with this once I get it on but we'll see I was trying to close it um, as much as possible when I was doing the install but yeah that didn't work out as planned so all right so I'm gonna go ahead and put her on now the cap itself already had a comb in the back and it had two in the front one right by the part, and here's another one. And I already have my wig cap and wig clip on to help keep this baby on and still. Because <laughs> we don't need me doing one of these. And that's happened before. While I was on stage doing a show, I was jamming. Boop, I caught that thing so fast. My good girlfriends that are watching this, they know all about it because they were there <laughs> laughing at me. So 
my god, that's not funny. But it was. <laughs> it was funny as a bug. All right. Here goes nothing. Ooh, she's big. Oh my god, I'm making these. It just don't seem like <laughs> the wig is gonna be this big. I swear, this is probably like the third, maybe fourth wig I made. And it always appears bigger than what it looks like on the mannequin. Like it looks bigger on me to me. But this is cute. Definitely need to tame it, but I like the colors I threw in here. So as y'all saw, I had three different colors of hair. Um, it was a burgundy color, this uh, 1B mixed with 27, and then it was like a 613, which is this, when I first put this color in, I was like, I don't like that one too much. So I just got a couple sprinkles of it in here. It makes me feel like, uh, what's the girl from uh, X-Men? Don't, you know, the little light blonde strip. <laughs> I don't even know her name right now. Can't think. But y'all know who I'm talking about. All right. So she's cute so far, though. Nice and full. Another one of these strands back here in the back. All right, can you see the whole thing? Now I could leave it like this, this big, but not, not really my style. I'll be hot and sweating, and I don't even have hot ones yet, but <laughs> I'll be so hot. Okay, what else is this? I just brought them over here. What do I do with them? What do I do with the scissors? Y'all, help me get my life. Oh, right in my face. That was going to jump up and bite me in a minute. All right, so let's see how I want to do this. I hate cutting in this area. I normally like to do this in my bathroom it's easier to clean up but and I might just do that <laughs> I might start here but I might end up finishing in the bathroom all right so I'm just kind of cutting some soft layers in here Okay, I guess I'll put those back in later. I don't want to make it too short. But I, I do need to tame her. Oh, she is so cute to me. Right, let me see what I'm working with on this side. I'll probably should take this earring out while I pull this one out too. Alright. y'all all right y'all so it looks like i'm gonna have to go in the bathroom and finish this in my big mirror and i'll be back 
All right, y'all. So I went ahead and did some chopping off camera to get it a little more shaped and around my face the way I wanted it to. Hmm. I also put some um, powder in the parting area. Um, I still feel like the parting space is a little wide, so I might end up throwing a couple more strands of hair, especially like right here on the end. Um, you know, just for improvement. You know, I'm always about improvements and making it better. So I'll probably do, I mean, it's not bad the way it is now, but um, the perfectionist in me is probably gonna add a couple more pieces of hair. So, um, this is the final look. Uh, I didn't make it too short like I thought I would. Um, I feel like I kind of made that mistake with a couple other crochet wigs that I made. Um, I didn't intend to cut them as short as I did, so this time I was like really, really careful not to cut it short because I wanted it to have a little bit of length. Um, I think it would be cute if I cut it short, but that's not really the look I am going for with this one. All right, well, I hope you like this wig. I love it. I think it is super cute. So again, thank you all for watching my channel. I hope you like this video. I hope it was helpful. Again, if you are interested in me making you a crochet wig, contact me and let me know and we'll talk beats about that. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you know every time I upload a video. All right, y'all. I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.